What is the crack lads? We're back and today we are going to be doing a video for all ye offline guys because I've been getting a lot of questions about the offline experience now as to what is going to be coming in November. We will have a couple of uh, announcements and a bit of news obviously with what will be coming in November which is the next big upgrade and the next big update which is what I'm hearing um, is that it's going to be a fairly big update, you know what I mean? And we will get into a bit more news on that when we can speak about it. But I think a lot of the problem at the moment with like the gameplay stuff and all that is not so much the gameplay. Like I know, obviously, we all have a mixed bag with the gameplay, right? I've had issues with the gameplay. I still feel um, that, you know, they need to tone down, man. They need to tone down the... I'm just going to change this squad here um, just so I'm able to get more players in that will be able to suit for this. But yeah, I feel like they still need to tone down the, the players like a, a lot. Um, like because I think the defensive side of the game is extremely like, you know, high. Like it is still high, right? Uh, when the players actually go on and take the ball off you or whatever, right? But we're going to get into a match. We'll have that playing on the background and I'm going to be kind of nitpicking through a couple of... Uh, little bits and pieces as we play the ai obviously the team strength discrepancy is going to be huge but hopefully we'll get a couple of good clips as we do play against the ai in just a second all right let's so we're just in here and we're going to be hopefully able to beat this team we should be able but yeah i just feel like a lot of the issues at the moment like come from the defensive side of the game as well that they have balanced it out i think in v1 point or in v2.1 but i still feel like that kind of intricate like dribbling that was there in v, v1.0 when the game first launched i think it's just slightly lost it's not completely lost now it's like it was obliterated i think before Ronaldinho was making the run it was like that type of like pass and move dribble out wide you know really showcasing the players that could dribble that could pass that had an understanding of movement that had an understanding of where the ball should go um and then obviously you mix that in with the like the responsiveness the tricks the dribbling um you know the one touch passing the triangles the defending like you know not making too many mistakes at the back clearing it when you should clear it like i think that that style of gameplay that was there in v1.0 like was obliterated in future updates but i think it is back a little bit now in v2.1 um it's not fully there i would say like and i wouldn't i would be one that i think a lot of the time when i talk about like the responsiveness and the tricks and stuff i think people kind of oh it's a great ball Oof. i think a lot of the time people especially i can only speak for myself i mean i know people that would want eFootball 2023 to be so responsive that it is basically a fifa clone i don't think that that's the right way to go with the gameplay i think short term yeah you might get a lot of um you know initial kind of players playing the game that they can pick it up and play it and just you know be able to do a couple of step overs and you know double touch their way um and fake cancel their way to, to goals i think short term the gameplay will benefit from that but i think long term if you're trying to build a fan base i just think that like if you are going down that road you're always just like a competitor away from actually doing that better than you you know what i mean so if the likes of ufl if the likes of goals if the likes of 2k were to enter the market and have a gameplay where they say like right look we're going kind of you know we're not going fully sim but we are going the route of that you can pick this game up and you can kind of you know do your step overs you can be dominant with the good players like in back and stuff um you know from speaking to a lot of people that are playing fifa at the moment and a lot of guys are enjoying it some people are not enjoying it the actual core gameplay of fifa is super super fluid and when i say super fluid it's as in the players don't have any weight like there's no difference between having the players obviously the fast players like in back in that are just rapid but you know a lot of the goals i see on twitter and correct me if i'm wrong because i do actually i have actually got fifa so i got fifa for my birthday um there so yeah i am going to be giving it a good go right and i have like i haven't even played it yet but from talking to people that have been playing it um and i've been speaking to carrasco who obviously has played a lot of it the actual like you know vanilla experience obviously if you're using sliders and stuff um you know you can change the core gameplay but like i would say even this like when you're playing against the offline against the ai here right like the game it's not like massively different than the online experience of dream team 
but you're not seeing you're not coming up against the team with like four up front you know you're not coming up against a team that is playing three bar pass assist the AI isn't going to play three bar pass assist and like literally just pass like one touch pass you for 90 minutes like that's just not they don't do that you know what I mean so here that as a first touch without me taking an extra touch like that works offline because the responsiveness is there and the balancing isn't there because of the speed like obviously online is going to be a lot faster you've got you know guys that have like my team is like filled with guys that are like 100 overall right so they're going to have really high stats that need to be balanced but even here like you can see the responsiveness between you know a couple of different moves uh is going to be different than online whereas if you go online and you to try play like that you just won't be able yes you have the friend match mode there's no tracking its stats you know it's you have to create a, a friend match yeah it's not a big issue but in again in the year 2022 it should literally just be you know it should it should be co-op should be there you know co-op should be there a pro clubs mode should be there at the moment if they have a friend lobby they should be able to bring in three or four players into the lobby even 2v2 man will be huge in the community you know what i mean you could have 2v2 matches going you could have tournaments going it would be a lot more fun and even if it wouldn't be a lot more fun if you prefer the the 1v1 experience why not have your cake and eat why not have the 1v1 friend lobbies and the 2v2 friend lobbies why not have online tournaments that have stats that progress forward with different rules you know um but I do, I genuinely do feel that the biggest thing going against them at the moment is the fact that there is just nothing there for us to sink our time into. I think that a lot of the gameplay issues that I see and a lot of the gameplay issues that um, that kind of like reared their ugly head online and stuff and even in these offline matches, I feel like you wouldn't see them or focus on them as much if you had something to sink your teeth into. Messi! Oh, brilliant tackle. I think if you were the Master League, right? If you had a Master League that was let's just say a 6 out of 10 experience right which isn't asking too much when the game has been out so long right obviously i know that they want a 10 out of 10 experience they want to smash it and i get that obviously they don't set out and they're not going to say like okay well let's port over you know pez 2021's mastery right and just have something that people can play where they can do their transfers where they can have a schedule where they can have a, a table tournament you know maybe make it online that you can invite your friends in and have like a five to six player master league where you all start with teams and you, you know play your fixtures or whatever you can sim or play against the ai on legend difficulty or whatever difficulty you set it at i do feel like a lot of that stuff obviously should be there and like you know i'm not gonna make excuses for it but even away from that right if you had just a very basic like master league mode at the moment right in the game right and i truly believe this if it was a 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10 experience. I don't think people would, the, the offline fans, like, would focus as much on the gameplay faults. Because I still think that the gameplay is quite decent. I think it's just the package at the moment that people are putting all the frustrations that they have with the complete package into the gameplay. Now, that's not me saying that I still think that the gameplay doesn't need work, because it does. It's, it's, it's not where it needs to be. And I think that everyone knows that but again i go back to is can you have fun with the gameplay i definitely think so is there a lot of work still left to be done with the offline gameplay and the online gameplay most definitely is it still got balancing issues ref issues collision issues yes like it has all those issues and then some you know but i think it's the whole package that it keeps coming back to and that is the main concern i think that a lot of people have oh he's gone for it lovely donna i think that's what the biggest thing is is that like there's not really to distract you from the core vanilla experience of the game. We don't have sliders for the offline experience. Yeah, we can change the game speed and stuff. But even if we had sliders, like what would we be testing them on? There's nothing there to there's nothing there to play. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing there to sink your teeth into. Um, because obviously, you know, there's no sliders, even if you did have sliders and you could adjust the pass speed, you could adjust the defense aggressiveness, you could adjust all this sort of stuff. Like, what's there to actually test it out on? There's nothing there to test it out on. Do you know what I mean? Because the game is just literally bare bones. Oh, see. Oh, what a goal, Messi. Seal the deal, baby. There's nothing to test it out on. So, that's kind of my takeaway from everything. Does the game, at the moment, play well on Legend difficulty? I think that there's an enjoyable game there. That if they were, as I said, and I keep repeating, if they were to release a mode, I do think that there is joy to be had in it. That you can have a bit of crack... Um, with it like you can play your matches you could have a bit of crack with the with the offline side of the game if there was 
Hell, even if there was like an offline become a legend where you could just have one season to play in the in the leagues that they had licensed. Do you know what I mean? Like the French League or something like that, where you could literally just play and you could choose to play either a full season with that team, do the transfers in January, um, you know, have all your goals tracked. You can invite friends in that you could do it as an online thing, or you could pick a player lock, you know, that you could you could uh, just choose to play as Mbappe or Neymar or the Abbey or somebody like that from, from uh, Leverkusen. I think that would be, you know, fun. So, yeah, I definitely do think that there is, there is still room, like, for that potential to be, I don't know, like, in the November update or whatever update comes out soon. I mean, you just have to look at Konami. You see the Silent Hill news. Obviously, they are obviously aware that they do have good IP, but they are sitting on bags of money. So, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. Slightly longer video than I anticipated, lads. I will shorten it down a little bit, but let me know what you guys think. Um, where you're at with eFootball at the moment. You know, has the friend match lobby improved your experience with it? You know, are you enjoying certain aspects of it? Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you later. That is my thoughts on the offline side of the game at the moment and where we're at with it. But yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. We're nearly at 20,000 followers, lads, or subscribers. Massive. I mean, I always say it, like, some of the comments I get, some of the feedback I get, some of the in interaction I get with you guys, unbelievable. You're so tuned into everything. Your criticisms are very, you know, warranted. Um, your feedback is always massively appreciated. Like, anytime I open up a subscriber showdown uh, lobby, it's full. Like, straight away, instantly, people, like, coming in. The support has been huge. We are going to be doing a massive giveaway for 20,000 uh, subscribers if we do get it. And, uh, yeah, it would be a perfect, perfect uh, start to November if we could do that. But, yeah, again, lads, huge appreciation I have for you guys, as always. And, uh, yeah, that is it for me.